welcome back to our channel. I'm Jared from 3C's Recreation and today we're going to do the counter shaft spacer upgrade kit. This is a uh, right from Beta. You can order the parts right from us or if you want to go on Beta's website you can grab them there too. We offer free drop shipping on parts over a certain dollar amount and discounts. So give us a call or 3C's Recreation. So this is a really simple upgrade but one that I think this is uh, a 2020. Let's get some time on it it's time to do this. You're going to get a new seal in there, but the spacer itself uh, won't be grooved out like the old one probably is. So pretty cool upgrade. It's only like $40 for this kit. I would recommend doing it to your bike. So we'll jump right into it. All right. So do this. All we have to do is remove the front sprocket so we can get to that seal behind there. When we do this right now, we're kind of cheating because the bike is in this uh, holder holding the bike straight up and down. But well, I'll have Braxton stand on the rear brake as well. So if you're at a track and you, you have a stand here uh, and the wheel's off the ground, you can have a rider stand on your rear brake, which puts which holds the rear wheel still, so I can unscrew this. So all we're going to do is just take our breaker bar um, to a 17 millimeter. I use a six-point socket when I do these as well. So we're just going to spin this off of here. You got the brake held there? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so now, now we've got it loose. You don't want to use an air gun on these. Um, it will... Well, Beta says that it, it could possibly uh, snap the bolt off in the end of here. I have not had that happen, but you never know. Somebody probably has. All right, with our with our bolt out of the way, and keep in mind on the two strokes, most of them are just a snap ring on here. So the shaft would stick out farther, and you're just pulling a snap ring off. You don't have to worry about holding the brake trick. Um, you can hop off the brake. We're good there, Rex. Um, so now we're just going to try to slide this off. And we're just going to slide the sprocket out of the chain. I'm just going to wiggle it out. My sprocket's getting pretty worn. It's probably probably time for a chain of sprockets on this girl here. But you can see, um, and again, I haven't cleaned the bike since we got back, but typically there's a ton of mud in here. So this is going to be nice to be able to change this out. So I'll pull this out. And you can see, gosh, I wish the GoPro would focus a little bit better, how grooved this ring is just from the time on the bike. And you can see that little o-ring that's back behind it and that's okay because our new kit's going to come with it so we wanted this o-ring to come out as well and we're gonna we're gonna pull this seal out next and you know you can use a screwdriver tuck it up in here and pull it out we're also going to combine that with a pretty cool um i guess this is a mac tool but it's just got a hook on the end of it we'll try this as well so we'll get this seal pulled out of here So now we've got the old seal out. Obviously it's it's ruined at this point. We don't care, it's out. But you can tell it's getting hardened. And there's actually some stuff in there. So it's good to get this out of here. And we'll clean this whole surface up on the inside here. So here's the difference in the counter shaft spacers. Um, this one you can see has this big flange on here that's gonna help keep a lot of the mud out as well. This is the stock one in my right hand. And this is the old seal. You can see how, with that pushed in there, it's going to keep a lot of the stuff from even getting close to the seal in there. And I know the GoPro does not focus that well, so I apologize for that. But So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the new seal and we're going to push it in. And we want it to be flush with the case when we're done getting this installed. So we'll get this thrown in there. We have a bunch of nice bigger sockets here at the shop. And so I like to find one that has the seam, and it's a really thick socket, these are bigger. It's got a seam outer diameter as my the new seal that I've already kind of set in there. And now I can hit on this and not hurt the inside lip of the seal. So it just kind of helps push the seal back in easily. We'll make sure it's going in evenly. Now that our seal is installed, all we have to do now is, is take our new O-ring here and we're going to push this back on the shaft to keep our oil from coming out. Then we're going to install our new spacer and I'm going to put some grease on this. I like to always grease these and I put them in. Now we got it greased up. We're just going to push this straight in and get it all the way in. And you can see in there, it's super sweet. 
gives us that seal, that, that longer, taller collar, keep the mud from going down in there. Now we're going to take our sprocket, reinstall it on the chain. And you always want to make sure that it is flush, that the, the spacer isn't pushing out on it, and mine is perfectly flush like we want it to be. So I'm going to reinstall on the four strokes we have to put the bolt back in. Again, on a two stroke, you just have the circ clip to put in. So I'm just cleaning up my spacer, cleaning up the sprocket a little bit. We're going to throw some blue Loctite on the nut, or on the screw. And the Beta wants this torqued to 44 foot-pounds, so Again, on the four stroke only, we'll torque this down and that'll pretty much wrap it up. All right, so that's a wrap on the counter shaft spacer kit. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. Again, I'm Jared from 3C's Recreation and I got Braxton here today. And if you're looking for beta parts and you're in the USA, please give us a call. I'd love to be your dealer. We offer discounts on parts and most of the time free shipping if it's over a certain dollar amount. So. Again, thanks for tuning in.